Hey everybody, welcome back to another stream of Filthy Casuals. As always, I am your host Chase, and today we're going to be playing some fun Commander games with Rachel and Dan from the Commander Sphere. Hello. Oh, hi. I'm so excited. Yeah. It's been a while since we've had, Ra a really long time actually, since we've had Rachel on the stream, and this is Dan's first time. Um, but I'm really excited to play with the both of you. So thanks you guys for taking some time out of your day to stream with me. I actually really appreciate it. Thanks for having us. Yours, yours is like the, fr I, this is going to be a little bit of an inside to how I plan things. But, um, typically I ask like the day before or the day of, um, I asked you like a week ago. <laughs> I was like <laughs> really trying to, I was really trying to like be good about this. I'm like, okay, I got to wrangle two people at once. <laughs> Let's try and schedule. So that <laughs> I'm really glad it worked out. Danan and Old Wolf, thank you guys so much for the subs. Um, so we already drew our hands. Um, so um, before we begin the game, we'll just go in turn order, starting with Alk, since he won the randomized die roll, just to explain a little bit about the deck that we're playing. Um, and then we'll go in clockwise turn order, and then we'll begin. Uh, yeah, I'm playing a new deck. It is a Kiri, Lineslinger, and Silas Ren Seeger Adept. Um, as you might expect, it cares about artifacts. I literally cobbled, not cobbled, I've been buying cards for it, but I've been, I pulled it together today and it's missing a few pieces, so I don't exactly know what to expect. Um, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, I am playing the DC Brood Tyrant. Um, it's sort of a classic. A DC list in that it has a lot of the fun mill cards. It has a little bit of zombie synergy. Uh, hopefully, we're going to make a whole bunch of creatures and uh, swing with combat damage. I'm a uh, frame playing everybody's favorite, uh, recently banned chonky boy, uh, Omnath. He is a <laughs> uh, this is pretty much straight up landfall deck. Um, it wants to play lots of lands and uh, benefit from that. Uh, it's the very first time I'm playing it through. I'm very excited. Um, so let's hope that it is not embarrassing. Excellent. It won't be, I guarantee you. Um, <laughs> And uh, before I introduce my deck, turns out we actually have a hype train happening in the chat, which is actually super exciting. So yay, a hype train. It was really cool because they gave me an emote that was a dumpster fire, literally a, a dumpster on fire. And I think that was very fitting um, that that was the emote they gave me. <laughs> um, and I'm playing M.E.L. today, uh, Blink Unicorn. I haven't played this in a long time, mostly because half the deck has disappeared, but I was able to kind of piece it back together a little bit. So we're going to... To play test the unicorn and see how she fares today. <laughs> so uh, everyone's ready. Uh, Alec, you can go ahead and start us off. All right. Beep, beep, I will draw. I will play a command tower for my turn and cast a shadow spear. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, and I will pass. I will draw for turn. I'm going to play a swamp, and I will use it to cast a death rage shaman. The and turn one plays. Three. I like the turn one plays. Mine will not be a cool turn one play. <laughs> Memes, thank you for <laughs> the chat, uh, the cheers, um, and also betting on ALK. Um, Got to play in a bobbing one. The first time anyone has ever bet on me. <laughs> Get a tap and suck to get a ooh, look at my hand. Uh, forest. Gotta make sure I get that right basic, and then I'm gonna pass. Um, I'm going to uh, drop down a temple garden and pass turn. Just absolute money moves over here. Yep. All right. <laughs> Dan and I are on like the sure. <laughs> same wavelength here. Just land. <laughs> yeah. It's I will fine. Play a swamp for a turn and cast this um, with two mana because uh, she has affinity. I'll cast Emery, Lurker of the Lock. You know Voice. what? And I go. mill for... So I mill Biden of Thassa, Heliod, Suncrowned, Bolt of Whispers, and Hannah, Ship's Navigator. That last one hurts to mill. Oof. I will pass. Chris, right. thank you for the sub. And we completed the level one hype train, <laughs> which is... <laughs> hype trains are confusing and exciting at the same time. I have no idea what they do. I'm going to be extremely yeah, I honest. Yeah, I, no I don't either. I really don't. 
I just, I, I get cool little graphics on my screen and it makes, it's exciting. It, it's <laughs> thrilling for everyone. Right? Um, I'm going to pay two for an undead auger and that whenever a zombie or another, whenever undead auger or another zombie I control dies, I draw a card and lose a life. And I will pass that to you, Chase. Yay. I'm like a, I'm like a baby with, um, no concept of like, <laughs> what's it called again? Where the, where like you put like a piece object of permanence. object permanence. I like object permanence. So every time I look at my screen, I'm like, oh my God, it's a hype train. And then I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Go play this planes, tap two for an arcane signet, and then we're just gonna pass. Nice. I'm gonna play and crack a prismatic vista. Um, get it in my graveyard and look for an island. Jason, thank you for the subscription. And the hype train level two is now at 50%. <laughs> Feels like a doomsday clock because I see a time counter going and I'm like, what happens when train, we reach the final level? I'm like, can we get to predicted the hype train is coming into the station. It is. <laughs> Are you done, Dan? Uh, no, I actually finally have a play. Um, I'm going to... Tap two, four, stand still. Oh, oh, that is a play. Indeed. I need to look up the wording on that. Um, <laughs> what did so you cast? I can't tell. Stand still. When a player plays a spell, sacrifice stand still. If you do, each of that player's opponents draws three cards. Oh, I don't like that. Interesting. That's, I see. It is a spicy little card. Okay. Okay, so it's um for everyone but it is a standoff in D. Yeah. Alrighty. I am going to untap draw. Um I will play a tapped godless shrine as my land for turn. Then I'll equip the shadow spear onto Emery. Um and because Dan doesn't want us casting spells. I'm just going to make him deal with the, the board state that as it is and attack him for two damage. Ow. <laughs> I accept this. Uh-oh. I, I did play the standstill. So. <laughs> and I will pass after that. I feel My wounded goodness. by that. Uh, okay. I will untap and draw a card. We'll play a... I guess we do this now. I'll do a polluted delta as my land for turn. Um, okay, what is in your graveyard? I see a creature and an artifact. Yes, I have a Biden of Thassa, a Heliod Sun Crowned, a Vault of Whispers, and a Hannah Ships Navigator. Okay. So no instants or sorceries in graveyards right now. No. Just land. A shame that I can't do anything super powerful, but I think I am not going to be the one to end this standstill. Uh, and I will, I'll send, I'll send two damage at Dan as well. I am being punished for playing a very, a very rude card. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll pass the turn to you, Chase. Awesome. Um, memes, thank you for the cheers. Zach, thank you for the follow. And Crumpler64, I really like your username. Thank you for the sub. Crumpler64, that rules. That's a really good username. That's an A plus name. I like it a lot. We're going to play a Holly Heliod's Generosity. And we're going to tap one, two, three. Should probably tap a different way, says Chase. Um, and we're going to uh, cultivate... <sighs> the standstill. The standstill. Stand All right, standstill ends. Everybody draws. All right, H, do I draw first, then tutor? So it's it's everybody except you draw three cards. Oh, because you cast the first spell. Okay, well, I did something cool for everyone. <laughs> You You're like, welcome. I totally is this a group hug deck, Chase. It is. You total. I totally know how to play this game, and yeah, it's great. It's fine. Um... 
you will not forget your generosity. Thank you. I appreciate it. We 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 were like this smidgen of close to getting um to getting the uh, hype train to level two. We were at eighty three percent to level two, which is actually super exciting. So and that happened within the first five minutes of the stream, which is also super exciting. So thank you, people <laughs> in chat. I also like that you can it automatically makes you type choo choo for when you finish the hype train. I really wish I knew more about what they were. I just think I they're know. neat. They the seem so exciting. I want to be in on this. Just like the pog, <laughs> the pog champ face comes up on screen every time you do like a, you get to a certain level and it like scrolls with confetti. It's very exciting. It's been nearly ten years since the hype train last week. <laughs> <laughs> Delivering emotes in its wake. Delivering beautiful emotes. Okay, so let's see. That goes into play tapped. I don't think I've played a land for turn. Um, have I played a land for turn? You can tell I'm a good magic player. Um, I you, you went yeah you did you, you played Polyphilia. Yes, yeah, you played Polyphilia. Yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. Thank you because I got what I like to call poopy brain. One, two, three, four, five, six. Pass. That was it. All right. Play. The bird. <laughs> I actually heard that bird. <laughs> and then I'm gonna play a dryad of the Elysian Grove. And then I'm gonna drop down um, another land. And then I will pass the turn. Alrighty. Untap. Draw. I'll play a mountain for turn. Uh, I'm gonna fetch my polluted delta now, just for the sake of expediency here. I like that the bird is a fifth player in this game. <laughs> I really like his commentary. That's yeah, a certain. Well, the problem is the bird is giving me all sorts of outside information. Yeah. So you might want to call a judge. Judge, yeah, we have coaching. We have some outside coaching. <laughs> Um, I'm going to cast a Burnished Heart. More like Burnished Fart, am I right? Oh, <laughs> At this oh, uh, <laughs> point. Be because of Chase's wit, I'm going to swing at her for two. <laughs> I will take the two. And I'll pass after that. Uh, on your end step, I will pay a black. I'll tap Death Ray Shaman uh, to Exile Cultivate and drain my opponents for two life. Alrighty. Um, I fetched a Zagoth Triome in case it is relevant. Alright, untap. Draw. We'll play a... We gotta play this the right way. Is there you don't a right have way? to play it the right way. Yeah, you could just do it all. Give yourself a challenge. I give you a What are you doing? Um, with access to, I don't think I have enough to do what I want here. Gavin's in chat. Hi, Gavin. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't think I can do this. Okay. Um, so there are, let's, I'll do this this time. Uh, I will exile the land in your graveyard, A-OK? Okay. okay. Uh, to make a blue mana. And I will use it, yeah. I will use it to cast Sadisi Brood Tyrant. Please hold that altar up to the camera. Oh, she because is I want perfect. to see it. That is so, so pretty. That's so good. So this is dirtling around. He does a lot of like old school cards, mm -hmm. and I'm obsessed. He did my Rakdos as well. Can you um, message me their info? Because I actually really like I how can. that looks. <laughs> I love them. Um, I mailed three cards, mm -hmm. including a creature. So it's City Sea Undead Vizier, Grave Tyrant, Grave Titan, excuse me, and uh, Embalmer's Tools. Uh, and it does include a creature, so I will make a zombie token. Then I will play an island as my land for turn. 
And I will use it to cast a Hedron Crab. I love yeah. that card. It's that such crab? a cutie. It's such a little cutie. Mm -hmm. uh, then I... Uh, you've got a Boynish Tart. I feel perfectly comfortable passing the turn. Awesome. Alrighty. Draw sick plays, uh, planes. And I will remember that I played a land this turn. Um, one, two, three, and four. Actually, I'll tap it. Um, I'll tap it that way. One, nope, that's uh, less mana, Chase. Uh, <laughs> I, know. I was trying to figure out if I could get the DC and Hedron Crab on the board without playing a land. And I was like, you cannot. <laughs> you need five. <laughs> Alrighty, we're gonna play my commander. Boop. There's M.E.L., and I always want to, I really feel like the pronunciation on this name has eluded me. I've not heard a person say it before, so I'm just kind of going uh, off my big brain moves oh, no. here. Yeah, I'm going, I'm going sicko mode, as, as the young people tend to say. Um, and then I'm going to pass the turn. And uh, if my commander dies, I will take it very personally and uh, <laughs> pass over to Dan. <laughs> oh, dare kill a unicorn? It's the last unicorn. Yeah. Um, Such a right. good movie. I'm going to tap four to drop in everybody's favorite boy, uh, Amnath is here. Amnath. Um, and then I'm going to play um, my land for turn. Uh, so I gain four. And then I'm going to play my Dryad of Elysian Grove land. So then I get uh, four mana. Gross. Yeah. I'm, uh, keep track of that right there just because I am a dum dum who will lose track of numbers very quickly. Same, Dan. <laughs> same. <laughs> always fun to have a deck that gives you miniature homework to do. <laughs> very fun game uh, that I choose to play. <laughs> um, I will then. Uh, cast a Cultivate um, with three of those. Mm -hmm. and all these green players bragging about their Cultivates. We love a Cultivate in this household. <laughs> um, so let me see. We get two basics. What do we got? So his third effect, so it's life gain and then four mana and then something. It's and then damage. everyone takes uh, four damage. Oh, there are three effects. There's not four. Just three effects. effects yeah. Okay, so we all Thank take Thank God. You think there would be four effects. Yeah, there's four colors. Four colors, but, but that I would think even, any... even <laughs> they knew that that might be too much. <laughs> yeah. Let's four do it. math. So then this will hit tapped. Everyone will take four. Took it. Oh, four. <laughs> and then... This will go back where it's supposed to. This goes in the graveyard. Um, and let me see. We got we got two mana to play with right now. Uh, is there are there are there other things to do right now? Um, uh, not with two. So I will pass the turn. Okay. Untap. I will draw. I will play a Smoldering Marsh as my land for turn. Um, Do you think that, like, when Omnath gets printed with black in his uh, color identity, that the, the, the black will manifest as little boots on his feet? <laughs> yeah, I have a little, little, little I think, black. I, yeah, I he like, get little boots. I think it's like a an evil smiley face he gets. Oh, oh that'd be scary. Like a black head. <laughs> oh, he'll look like the guy from Assassination Classroom, like the creepy, <laughs> sick anime reference chase. Anyway, <laughs> I, I'm on the idea of just little boots. Thank yeah, you. I'm, I like okay. it. Pro boots or little leather gloves for each hand. Oh, well, fingerless. They're, they're cool. fingerless gloves. Yeah. Actually, I'm going to cast... Uh, <laughs> is um, Omnath himself fingerless, though? It does mm. feel like he has no fingers for the gloves. 
All right, let's enhance on the art there, Dan. Yeah, yeah, get get an enhance. <laughs> enhance. Enhance. <laughs> I'm going to cast uh, uh, my commander, Akiri Lineslinger. Oh, um, yes. And then I will pass my turn. Okay. Uh, I will untap. Draw for turn. Play a reflecting pool as my land for turn, which triggers Hedron Crab. And I will target myself. So I own mill three. Evolving Wilds, Masker Girl, and World Shaper. So I will make a zombie toke. I'm starting to sense a theme here. A zombie toke. Um, now we have some manias to play with. I think we have to do that. That's too fun. I'm not as terrifying. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's so much mana. But also, like, if, if I take care of him now, he can just recast him. It doesn't feel great. So... Rachel, um, I will say I agree completely with your assessment on how scary yeah. Dan is. Um, so, uh, if is you... Is it more important to get rid of Omnath or just to get rid of the Dryad that allows the extra land drop? I think the Dryad. Um, and I think the Dryad, um, I can hold some mana back to, like, mm -hmm. make, like, a cool, like, you know, like, partner play kind of kind of deal with sure. you. Because um, okay. I do agree that is very, uh, very scary. So, Daniel, do you have a land in your graveyard? Uh, land in my graveyard? Uh, yeah. Yeah, there's a prismatic vista in there. I will exile it with my death ray shaman. No. Um, <laughs> and I, I will. <laughs> I like the note. I'll float some black mana. Uh, then tap my lands correctly. I will use it to cast everybody's favorite mesmeric orb. Uh, <laughs> then I will pay four mana and I will cast a ravenous chupacabra and I will target Dryad of the Lacey Grove. Uh, what's that guy do? I, Destroy I target creature. Yep. That'll do it. That's how you kill a sexy dryad. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, the blocker situation is a little scary here, so... I do not think I have a clean attack with my commander, so I will go ahead and pass the turn to you, Chase. Alrighty. That green giant is jolly no more. Uh, so you untapped four lands? No yep. four cards. Really sad about that, Rachel. I thought, so we were so, we, I thought we had something special. One. Look, my dark orb is for everybody. Rachel. Mill is a gift. Yeah. Mill Rachel, you gift. got rid of two board wipes. No, no. Those are like the only board wipes in here. <laughs> Rachel, as a creature deck, I'm <laughs> comfortable with that mill. <laughs> Rachel, you wound me. I'm so sorry. I, I handled the problem <laughs> and I created a new one. Yeah, I'm not so sure about that one. Um, but I did make a promise, and I will, I will hold that promise. Um, one, two, three. Four. Let's have a green for four. Oh, the last Omnath will be a planeswalker. <laughs> Panharmonicon. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. It's a no problem. I I made a deal with you, Rachel. Yeah. And I will take any attacks on my uh, board state as a personal attack. Um, yeah. Yeah. Please, please don't. Um, <laughs> I don't have a problem with Panharmonicon at this moment. Yeah, you see, and I have but not. I, I might in a moment. <laughs> well, I, I, I have a problem with Panharmonicon in every moment. <laughs> <laughs> This mana that I've set aside, I promise to set aside to take care of any possible problems. Okay. So I will be doing nothing, and I'm passing the turn. All right. On tap. I should not be a politics player. Yeah. I'm very bad at it. I just threaten you with me being sad. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't. It'll hurt my feelings. I'm always interested in friendship. I just like Ms. Maricorb, Um, because it's really good for my deck. Um, <laughs> I'm going to play my land for turn. I'm going to go with... Um, so then I'm going to gain my four. And then I'm going to... Crack my marsh flats. So I lose one. And go hunting for obviously not a swamp. Mm -hmm. 
just a plot. Hmm. Even though Dan only has Omneth out, I'm like, mm, still scared of Dan over there. Don't trust it. No. <laughs> that is not enough. So that I get my... You didn't see that. Dropped a card <laughs> from my hand, <laughs> face up. <laughs> very, very sly about that. An obvious power number. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even care about these cards in my hand. Look at my hand. I have so many other ones. Um, and then I'm going to crack my John Panorama. Oof. So we all take four. Yeah, so everyone's going to take their four again. Uh, I don't think I have to take four the first time. So much mana. Have you even used your floating mana? No. I <laughs> ten, so. Just ten mana. Sure, 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 sure. Um, what, what to do with it? Pass the turn. Make it a yeah, power yeah, move. Yeah. The power move of just letting it resolve to show that I am thrifty. <laughs> <laughs> it's to show you're not a capitalist is really it, what it is. Exactly. If I was really the <laughs> let that mana resolve or give it to everyone else. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's it. You would redistribute it. I would redistribute my I would have gotten landfall gains. Um, <laughs> I'm going to use three of it uh, to play Risen Reef. Mm -hmm. I feel like there's another land that's about to come forward. We'll see. Odds uh, are. <laughs> are. What's, what does that leave me with? Uh, I'll leave the red land. Um, uh, <laughs> Dan just I'm plays afraid. three creatures. Everything else is lands. Ah! Oh land. my god! Well, at least he's out of triggers. From <laughs> yeah, that. there's no, there's no more triggers. For it. Um, I'm just jealous so that you have so much land. I'm going to. I guess I'll use the red, uh, and then a green from my temple garden. And one of my planes and throw down uh, Miles Aria, which in in the moment does very little, but it's yeah. it, I know it's a win it's a win condition, but it, can you remind um, me? Um, yeah, I'll read it back for the for the folks at home as well. Uh, at the beginning of your upkeep, put a plus one plus one counter on each creature you control with a power greater than five. Uh, then you gain 10 life if you control a creature with power 10 or greater. Then you win the game if you control a creature with power 20 or greater. It I is a see. very narrow win con that does not apply to anything I have on the board right now, but mm. it's a fun card. It is. So, and then... Uh, then I'll oh. pass the turn. All right. I, I missed the Mesmeric Trigger on your, on your turn, Dan. Um, I will remember it for ALK. But... <laughs> okay, I'll I, hold you to that. I'll, I'm cracking the heart and getting a much less impressive looking two lands. Yep. <laughs> one, two, geez. one, two, three. So you're milling seven. Ooh. Okay. Xenagos, thank you for the follow. Xenagos himself? Yeah, I know. What I'm kind of a big deal, <laughs> if we're being honest. <laughs> I got I got fictional gods following oh me. God. <laughs> Xenagos returned from the dead just to watch this. There's stream. deities in the chat. Yeah, they're gods lurking. Are in the chat. <laughs> Xenagos and Gavin Verhey. <laughs> <laughs> All right, untapped Create mills. The world we live in. What? Swamp, Luris of the Dream Den, Morphic Pool, oh. Swamp, 
Cathartic Reunion, Soul Guide Lantern, and Exquisite Blood. Oh, that hurt. Lurus would have been a good one to not mill. Yeah, that would have been good. <laughs> Glandriel, yeah, thank you for the follow. Silas cares about graveyards. I'm helping. I'm helping, Rachel says, as she continues to smash things. I am not, I'm not smashing. <laughs> I smash nothing. I'm getting to think this artifact deck needs more artifacts in it. And no. All you need is soul ring, really. Yeah, I don't actually have a soul ring in this deck. <laughs> I built it and I was like, hey, I don't have a soul ring in here. Oh my god. Okay. So let's get my buddy the Nighthawk Scavenger out onto the board. Ooh, Ooh that's the new cool. one. He's yeah. a, big, a big boy. Yeah, he will be a big boy thanks to the uh, Mesmeric Orb. Mm -hmm. I'm here to help. <laughs> <laughs> Rachel, I don't, I don't believe you. Yeah, I have some serious doubts about that. <laughs> and we will also spend two to equip the Shadow Spear onto Akiri. And do I have any artifacts I can cast with Emery? I have the Soul Guide Lantern. That seems like a good cast. Mm -hmm. I will cast the Soul Guide Lantern. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, uh, what's in graveyards? A lot of stuff. Um, yeah. Let me do a quick count for me. A lot of lands for me. Um, land, enchantment, creature, sorcery. Uh, that's it for me. Okay, Chase doesn't have any combo pieces in her graveyard. Nope. Rachel? Uh, World Shaper, Massacre Girl, Grave Titan, Embalmer's Tools, uh, Sidisi, Undead Vizier, and Two Lands. Let's get rid of that World Shaper. That is that. fair. Bringing Exiled. all your lands back. And let's see. One, two, three, power. Um, That'll be it for me. Okay. I will untap six permanents and mill six cards, one at a time. Oop, that's a land. One, two, that's a land, two. Uh, three, that's also a land. Oh my and god. Four, there's a creature. <laughs> this is five. <laughs> uh, okay, so these, I have two zombies that can attack and one zombie that came in the stern. Hell. This is not a spin down. I yeah, haven't been able nice. to find any of those like plus one plus one counters dice like anywhere. Yeah, this is my boyfriend's and it's uh cool. So a four, uh five, oh, another land. And six that uh indeed is another land. Oh Hilarious. My God. What a <laughs> catastrophic whip. Uh so what we are going to do Wow. Someone's pet whale just singing a song. Oh. Um, <laughs> instead of drawing, I, I'm so glad that nature is finally returning to this. <laughs> we we <laughs> are. I'm not going to dredge Dakmore Salvage, <laughs> so I dredge Crypt Breaker and Parcel Beast, which makes me another zombie. Um, I'm going to share a hot take. Too many zombies. Just four. <laughs> four of them. Five of them, technically. Uh, I will play land. I will mill another three. Path of Discovery, Archaeomancer, and Castle Garen Break. That does contain a creature. So I will make another zombie. Um, gotta get contained in here. Okay. Well, what... There should be an uncard enchantment that says any card that leaves your playmat gets destroyed. Oh, that's yeah, that sure. would be cool. That's hilarious. Gosh, there's so many scary things. But I think... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. Okay. Who has a land in their graveyard? Danny of Evolving Wilds? I, I have a Jun Panorama, a Marsh Flats, and I think that's it. Land -wise. I will hit your Marsh Flats with my Death Ray Shaman and use it to make blue mana. 
there. Then I will pay three mana and I will cast Hostage Taker. And I believe I will take your Vampire Nighthawk Hostage. ALK. Alrighty. Any responses? Um, okay. Yep, that happens. And then I will pay three and I will attempt to cast a Vampire Nighthawk. I got nothing. Nope. Okay. No, no responses. I will make a guy. This is my very big lifeling friend. Um, I may have two that can attack. She doesn't go anywhere. I would like to swing. Akiri is a 3 2 first strike. Yes. That is inconvenient. Okay. Um,. I will pass. On your end step, I'm going to tap three, and I'm going to beast within that uh, that mesmeric orb over there. A tragedy. <laughs> All I'm doing is helping the world get access <laughs> to more of their cards. I don't want to mill. It's One, two, three, advantage. four, five, six, it's seven. Hard advantage. Uh, okay, I will get a beast. Alrighty. And then I'll go to me on tap no mill yay draw um okay i'm going to tap one uh two three four and five and i'm gonna play thrag tusk um which will trigger twice with uh, panharmonicon so when it etbs i gain five life so um I am going to uh, gain 10 life. Pretty good. We're back in business, baby. Alrighty. Um, that ate up so much mana, uh, though. Um, and instead, I'm just going to uh, attack nobody, mostly because Rachel is super scary. Um... Don't quite like that. So. <laughs> I'm gonna pass the turn uh, after that one. All right, I too oh, am afraid of Rachel. It's Nighthawk Scavenger or Vampire Nighthawk? Because now Nighthawk I'm Nighthawk Scavenger. Okay, yeah. good. I said the wrong thing. I was like, I do not care as much about Vampire Nighthawk. No, you don't want to have Nighthawk. it. I would have it in... anyway. Okay. Also, twenty friends in chat. Hello. Hope you guys are doing well. I'm going to throw down a Mystic Gate in game four. And then... I'm going to play Aristic Study. This is uh, Al, you'll recognize this fella. Hey! hey. He's once again asking you to pay the, pay the, uh, the water. Um, and then I too am terrified of Rachel and not really <laughs> sitting on the most combat friendly board right now. Um, what's to be done? Um, I could have taken either Dan or Chase's things. I want to be clear. I could have taken Panharmonica and I did not. I'm just borrowing a rogue in the sky. <laughs> um, I will pass the turn. Alrighty, untap. Not having to mill anything as I do. Pretty cool. Draw. Oh, that's a card. Um, let's play a tapped Savai Triome as my land for turn, and then spend six mana to cast Bolus's Citadel. Okay, well then. Here we go. Are you paying for Ristic Study? Um, you know what? I won't pay for Ristic Study. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think giving an Omnath deck cards is a good idea. You have the command <laughs> tab. Uh, to talk about placing the table right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, I will cast from the top of my library a Sun Droplet. Nice. Pretty cool. 
the two life, and that will be, let's see, I have one, two, three, four artifacts. So Akiri has five power, which still can't really go up, go anywhere, all dressed up and nowhere to go. I will pass. All right. Dan, I, I see you are a LaCroix boy as well. I and am. I have much Bruh. respect for you. I, I believe I it's know. pronounced LaCroix Ba. LaCroix Ba. LaCroix Ba. lady sitting on. I brought auxiliary LaCroix for Auxiliary. For her <laughs> uh, I played a land and I milled spider spawning, Yarek. Uh, the Desecrated and Thassa Deep Dwelling, uh, which made me one zombie token. Um, that costs some. Okay. I think it is time we go to combat. I... I will send Nighthawk Scavenger in the sky at Dan Sheehan. Oh. And I will send um that just makes it a terrible attack if I do it that way. I think I will just send five zombies of the second highest life total, which is Chase. So just one uh, zombie at me? Five. Nighthawk. Nighthawk. <laughs> When Nighthawk, we need to figure out how big he is. Big. Um, I need no. the creature types in graveyards from everybody. Hard types in graveyards, right? Hard, Hard types, types, yes. Types. That's what yeah. I meant. Creature types uh, would be insane. Land, enchantment, sorcery, and creature. So four from me. Okay. Um, I need instant or planeswalker. I have an instant have, in mine. I instant? have an artifact as well. Artifact. Uh, no planeswalker. So it is a 6 3 flyer. And no Life tribal. Death touch. Rachel, you said you were swinging at me with how many zombies? Five two two zombies. Yeah, I don't like that, Rachel. Your life total is so high. Um, but only just because I played one I creature. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, you took all 10. Okay. Yeah, um, <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't trust okay. your mass amount of untapped lands. Wait, so how big, how big is he is a six-three flying life to link death touch. I am wounded. Okay, I, I am hurt. That life. You guys aren't gonna let me draw cards. I guess I had to draw them all on my own. Um. Oh no, I messed up on the stream. Oh, there we go. What if? Fixed it. Um I guess I have four more after that. Yeah, that's fair. Okay, I will pay let's just do it. Um I will exile my own swamp from my graveyard. And use that five mana to cast Muldrifter. Do you pay for it? Draw two cards. I will pay for it. Oh my god, I forgot that was out there. Um, I have already played my land for turn. (laughs) I'm just gonna, uh, like, go back to the chat and say, JS2062 said, I hate Rhythmic Study. Mana curves, don't forget to pay the land. (laughs) (laughs) I need to pay it. I have already done that, so I will pass the turn. Alrighty. Counterpoint, me drawing cards is fun. <laughs> well, of course <laughs> well, you for you. you. Make a, a compelling argument. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What could I what can I do here? If only annoying things. I could do annoying things, but I could play this card that like hmm. That's not as fun though. Let me just weirdly talk to myself for a couple seconds, trying to <laughs> weigh the options I got going on in my mind. Um, I'm going to play a new card um, that I've not seen with this, so we're just going to see how it plays. I was thinking it'd be cool, so we'll see. One, two. 
uh, three, four, five, six. Um, and I'm going to play uh, Lurking Predators. Uh-oh. That's a good one. So we're going to see how that goes with this particular deck. But who knows? It could be... It usually goes bad for your opponent. Yeah. <laughs> I'm bad. like, man, Rachel's playing a lot of spells. Um, I should do that. And you know what? I am going to pay the one, uh, Dan. No. <laughs> I didn't forget Jason. I promised. <laughs> was good on my promise so with that i'm just gonna pass always the worst feeling when you have a risk you see someone cast a spell and they have exactly one left you're just like yeah yeah it's gonna happen <laughs> yeah. it would be it's the right move but i love receiving additional cards <laughs> you you do that's kind of weird you like it's, card it's draw um I'm, I'm hitting a wall here uh with with my options and i'm not loving it because everyone is Doing cool motorcycle tricks and my motorcycle <laughs> slowing down. Um, is it a perfect metaphor? Not exactly, but you should just cast something, anything, <laughs> please. Yeah, I feel like it's really got to be worth it now. You know, <laughs> um, I'm gonna throw down a terramorphic expanse and gain four life. Um, God, yeah, now with every spell, it's like, is it worth whatever might spring out of that deck? Yes. Um, for me, it's worth it. <laughs> well, as long as it's worth it for Chase. Yeah. <laughs> After all, you are a guest. Yeah, so. Support the Predators. Um, <laughs> well, that's uh, that, uh, uh, super fact I don't want to see. Yeah, God. <laughs> Um, I am going to reluctantly pass turn. <gasps> Dan, that's so wow. mean of you. Yeah, I'm so sorry. Marry a predator in sight. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't think this is a conversation thread we want to go down. <laughs> you're, you're right. Um, I'll play a land for a turn. Look at the top card of my library. Um... Yes, I will cast that for four life and paying the one. I'm casting a Phyrexian Scriptures. All right, I got to reveal the top card of my library. It is a creature, so I put it onto the oh. battlefield, um, oh, which will I'll trigger it. twice, and I will. it's an Ondu Giant. Um, when he ETBs, I may search my library for a basic land card and then put it onto the battlefield tapped and then shuffle my library, so I'm going to get two basic lands. Yeah. So, okay. Land one. Um, when Phyrexian Scriptures enters the battlefield, I get to put a 1-1 one, one target counter onto a one target creature. That creature becomes an artifact in addition to its other types, so that will go on a Kiri. She is now an artifact creature. Look at that. Um, that doesn't seem so great. Oh, not not good. Ugh. There's so many scary permanents right now. Um, Omnath is a four four, and you yeah. have a one one as well. Oh, I sorry, will... did you pay the one for the Phyrexian uh, scripture? I did, he yes. Did. I am going to send Akiri at Dan. She has um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight power. Um, and life like a trample, right? Yeah, first strike, vigilance, life link, and trample. Mm hmm. Hmm. Um, I do want to take. I have a lot of great options here. And what's her toughness? Uh, her toughness is three, four, five. Okay. Yeah, and she's got first strike. She'd kill everything that would block before it could do anything. Uh, I'm gonna take eight. All right. 
You take eight commander damage. I gain eight life. Find my library again. Is that worth it? You know what? I'm not going to win this game by not casting spells, right? <laughs> that is the truth. Casting spells is so fraught now. It's, you're just it's releasing so monsters and paying taxes. I'll pay five life and cast this Witch of the Moors. Oh, that card's Reveal. Cool. Top card is a Rex Age. And it'll gross. trigger twice. So let's get rid of that Ristic study from Dan. Ow. Um, do you pay the one for the, uh, the witch? I did pay the one for the witch, yeah. Uh, farewell, Rachel. Rachel, do you have any artifacts or enchantments over there? I do not. Um, just crate those. Okay. Alk, uh, I am gonna get rid of that bolus of Citadel. That would be a wise move. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, so I'll move to my end step. I did gain life this turn. Um, so each opponent sacrifices a creature, and I return up to one creature card from my graveyard to my hand. I will return... Um... Mm -hmm. Oh! Did oh, I hear somebody make Anna cinnamon rolls? Navigator to my hand. Uh, I sacked... Oops, why is it I'm dumb? Okay, I sacked a zombie, so I lost a life and drew a card. And I am officially done. Okay. I will untap. Never mind, I like this card. And... It's a very cool card. It is. I was like, I don't know if it'll be good in here. Um, draw a card. I will play a swamp as my land for turn. And I will mill myself for three. Moldrotha the Grave Tide, Overgrown Tomb, Risen Reef of my own. Of my very own. <laughs> Where just had a zombie moments ago, lost it already. Okay. Um Make a zombie token. I played can we do it. Yes. Well, This is how this deck wins. I guess we do the thing. Two, three, four, five. I will tap Death Ray Shaman and I will exile a, whoops, an island from my graveyard to make green mana. Mm -hmm. And I will pay one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Don't like I that. To cast Crater Health Behemoth. Alrighty, I get a Nope, it's Conjurer's Closet, so that will uh go on the bottom of my library. Um so my guys are big. Yes, yeah. they are very big. Doctor Field is an eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah. It's a creature deck. It's you gotta have the hoof in it, even if it's yeah. so boring as boring. I have hoof in here too. <laughs> yeah. Really yeah, I think fun. there's a hoof somewhere in here as well. So Okay, good. Then I feel less bad. Um okay. Well this We're all gonna get hit by the hoof at some point. Yeah. One, two, three, plus eight uh, is 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So they all have plus nineteen plus 19 and trample that's gotta be lethal right i would think unless somebody's got a fog you know that uh that but quote from jurassic park where he's like you know they 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 thought if they could but really they should have thought if they could that's, <laughs> that's like the vibe i'm getting right now um in my final act of defiance uh I will bling my commander at Rachel. <gasps> I'm gonna reveal the top. I'm gonna reveal the top card in my library real quick. Yeah, it is. It is. It's a Felidar Guardian. Can you combo off of it? Um, you, I'm gonna see if I can right gain now? an obscene amount of life here. Um, so it's Felidar Guardian, and it triggers twice. So I'm gonna exile another target permanent control, and then return it to the battlefield okay. under my control. So we're gonna exile. Um, so after I, that, I, I, after so you I, put the first two Felidar Guardian triggers on the stack, mm -hmm. I'm going to activate uh, Soul Guide Lantern and Sack it to draw a card. Okay. okay. So 
Um, so Dan did the fling in response to going to combat, mm -hmm. right? Because I, yeah. I haven't declared attacks yet. Yeah, no, I did that. In, okay, in I just want to. I just want to make sure that yeah. I'm not like. I just only have one blocker, and that does not bode well when everything. Yeah, that's that's, that's totally changing. fair. Okay, so uh, first one will be a Thrak Tusk, um, and then he'll enter the battlefield. Well, he'll leave the battlefield, and I'm going to get um, a 3-3 three, three beast that I don't have. So we're just going to use um, Nathroy as <laughs> a 3-3 three, three beast. Yep. <laughs> Looks like a beast to me. <laughs> I'll just do this upside down, Nathroy. Um, and then when he ETBs, I'm going to gain 10 life. Um, oopsies. So 10 life. And then, um, doing Thrag Tusk again leaves. I'll get another beast. So it'll be two beasts. And I'm going to gain another 10 life. Mm-hmm. Okay. Sorry. It's just, you, you just said they're 1919s. And I'm like, I don't, oh, totally. I don't really respect, I don't like that. That's scary. I don't respect your card. I don't. That's what Jason said. Really that. I, I do not like to acknowledge zombies of that size. Yeah, I don't. I don't really. Uh, I don't know about that. It's just not zombies a vibe. Of unusual size. Zombies of unusual size. I don't think size. they exist. Alrighty. So, Anybody want to cast any more spells, too. please? I got no more mana. Oof. Um, I'll cast, uh, well, I'll wait for Rachel to declare attacks. Okay, let me declare some attacks. Um, Beautiful. I will send Moldrifter and Nighthawk Scavenger at Chase for sure. Mm -hmm. Dan has no more blockers, so he's getting Mondo Sidisi. Um, let's do, I'm excited that Hedron Crab can attack. <laughs> he's so big. <laughs> He's such a big boy that oh. zombie cannot attack. Hold on. I'm so sorry. So in chat, I just wanted to make sure I did this ruling right because this is like my first time playing this deck with Felidar in it. Um, Anton says you can't blink it twice right. Target's already chosen before it leaves. So I just thought because they were two, um, it was an additional time. The target happened two times or is it all at once? Um, so both blink, both Philidar Guardian triggers go on the stack at the same time when it enters. You have to choose targets at that time. If you choose the same target twice, only the first one will resolve because the second one sees it as a new object and okay. the ability technically fizzles. So okay, right. so then I, let me take the 10 life back really quick. Okay. So I'll be at 38, I'll only have one beast, and then the other trigger I'll just, uh, do the Rex Sage again and get rid of um, Sun Droplet. Oh, come on, Chase. That's a real <laughs> jerk move. No! <laughs> I, to, okay, I just want to um, know what Sun Droplet does, to be honest. I just... Oh, I have the beast of just, just like a gain life thing. We're, uh, but we're <laughs> facing down this army of zombies and Chase uh, is like, I'm going to destroy <laughs> your necklace. Rachel doesn't have any artifacts, otherwise I would I have targeted have Rachel. <laughs> Uh, Sidisi is going at Dan, so that is commander damage. And then I have these six are going at other Dan, and then these seven, two of which are in the air, are going at Chase. Okay, so how many are you hitting at me? So it's 19. To, okay, we're gonna do, we're gonna do, so this is 20 times five is 100, minus five <laughs> is 95. Plus, this is 6 plus 19, so that's 25, so we're at 120, and then uh, plus another 21, so 141. You know, I think you just barely got me. You know what? <laughs> I, in response, I'm going to dig for an answer. I'm going to cast dig. Ad Nauseam. Ooh, hey, Ooh I do my thing. Maybe this is I, this is the win I need. I don't have a fog. I'm just going to kill myself with Ad Nauseam. <laughs> land. Nah, I got to land. I'm dead. Uh, and then there's, yeah, it's over uh, 100 going at ALK as well. No, I I die because of ad nauseum. So yeah. I, I take the, <laughs> the win away from you. <laughs> that is fair. That is a fair. Oh, that's <laughs> hysterical. Well, that is 
how this deck wins, I suppose. The best way that I've won with Crater Hoof was there was prisons on the board. It was an enchantment deck. So I played Crater Hoof and then used Phoenix to deck the table. What? That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> It was super fun. Alrighty. So All right. let's transition. Do you guys, really quick question, just to make sure. Um, do you guys want me to put us on the be right back screen so that way you can like get up and stretch if you need, go to the bathroom or get some water, or are y'all okay with going into game two? Um, I wouldn't hate taking a five. Yeah, let's yeah, take let's a five. Start. So guys in chat, we will be taking five minute breaks, so that means you'll see us I don't know why I was about to say in five minutes. Of course you will. Also, we'll see you in five minutes. <laughs> five hours. Can I take five hours? <laughs> <laughs> Look, oh, I gotta, five I gotta do a quick five. Thing. I got some errands. <laughs> got some errands I need to run. We'll be right back, you guys. <laughs> 